The managing director of Bastion Market Intelligence Limited, Roger Montero, believes that if the problems of illicit trade are addressed, then this country should see an improved ranking in the next Global Illicit Trade Environment Index. TNT currently ranks 75th out of 84 countries on the index. But what are the implications of illicit trade on the economy? When someone purchases an illicit product, for example, a counterfeit cigarette, the seller of the fake cigarette receives revenue upon which he does not have to pay taxes. All the while, the legitimate cigarette sellers have to pay taxes, but they also have to suffer from less sales because the counterfeit seller has cut into the market. Regarding brand ownership, Montero says the majority of branded clothing being sold in TNT is either counterfeit or brought into the country as contraband. In a statement, Montero also says distributors are concerned with making money and are not helping to increase the awareness on illicitly traded goods. Montero also says that online shoppers have to be alert as there is a high percentage of illicitly traded goods on major well-known websites. He says the sellers advertise an authentic product but end up shipping one that is illegitimate. Also commenting on the issue was the president of the Downtown Owners and Merchants Association, Gregory Abood, who says if penalties and sanctions are to be applied to those involved in illicit trade, it should come from an independent agency free of political interference but with guaranteed funding. Abood claims, until that happens, enforcement is moot and a useless question. He says, the very businessmen who are contributing towards the tax revenue, that is, giving money to government to do all of the things that it says it has to do, those businessmen are being eroded and corroded by this underground invisible trade. Abood says the COVID-19 pandemic has brought TNT's economy into question, and he predicts that there will be a sharp decrease in local consumption until major economies like Europe and the United States reopen their business and trading. Kyron Regis, CNC3, Business Watch.